Oh, that scared me. Oh man, I've got shivers going down my spine! Welcome back everybody to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series where we play 7 Days on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to Nightmare Speed and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Welcome back. Okay, so uh, the plan for today is that we're going to work our way north. Um, towards the snow, uh, I'm sorry, for the desert biome. Now, um, Terry Bear generated this map for me. He said that the desert biome is somewhere near the center. He didn't tell me exactly where it was, um, but he said it's somewhere near the center. So that's right about in here-ish. So we're going to work our way uh, towards that red arrow and see uh, if we can find this place. I am uh, two slots over encumbered. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to go ahead and just bring this extra ammo with us in, in case we need it. I'm currently wearing the college jacket, so we've lost a little bit of of uh, cold protection from the duster. Uh, but this gives us 10% run speed, uh, so you know that's going to help us move a little more quickly. Uh, because we've got plenty of ammo, we've got good guns, we've got good armor. I'm not going to creep this time. We're just going to walk. Um, you know, I mean, we're not going to go looking for trouble, but. We're, you know, we're going to be able to move a little more quickly than we have uh, so far in this series. I'm bringing um, cold cooling mesh mod, a tank top. Uh, we've got the cowboy hat mod and the leather duster and all that stuff that we'll use once we do find the desert to help keep us cool. It's my intention to make some kind of an outpost, whether that be a POI or even just a little shack that we build uh, in or near the desert biome. Um, and then, of course, we'll have a cooking pot. That's what the cooking pot's for. I am really gonna try not to loot anything along the way, and we really we have we don't have any room to loot anything. So you know that's a good incentive <laughs> uh, for us not to uh, to do much looting. We've got um, uh, we still have our coffee, of course, and we also have uh, four things of yucca juice smoothie, which gives us uh, plus thirty cold resist. Uh, but I'm probably not gonna take that right away unless we really start you know having some trouble. You know the one thing we don't have with us is any food. That could be a problem. Um, I, I did leave, I, I do have three cans of chili. I wanted to save that for chili dogs, but actually we probably better not do that. Let's make sure we have a full thing of coffee too. And we're going to drink one of these right now. Yeah, we better eat the food that we that we have now and rather than try to save that. So uh, we don't need to eat it right yet though. We're, we're in good shape. So now we're four slots encumbered. Oh, the other thing we have to do once we get there is we need to, to wrench cars. So hopefully the desert biome's not like way out in the boonies where there's no cars. But I don't want to wrench the cars right now because then that's going to really fill us up even fuller. So is there anything else I can really just live without right now? The junk turret. I'd like to keep that with me though because that can help protect us while we're mining. I really don't want to leave that behind. Oh, man. Uh... We could leave the cloth behind, I suppose. We do have two bandages, but nah, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I just don't want to leave anything behind. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go. We're going to be a couple slots over encumbered. Having that uh, that jacket on that gives us 10% run speed, you know, probably will, it will compensate for that to some extent. What is this big old building right here, I wonder? Huh, I don't recognize that building. Let's let's kind of come around the front and see what it is. Okay, we got Larry over there. Oh yeah, that's the movie theater. Okay, cool. Yeah, I love that POI. That POI is awesome. Okay, uh, but it's not it's not complete. Uh, we went through that in the Wasteland series, and there's no well, there was one zombie in there. Um, it is a really neat POI, though. Probably one of the coolest I've actually seen in this game. Uh, period. So, yeah, really neat. Okay, well, anyway, let's keep moving here. Um, how much money do we have? We have 217 coin. We could stop and check out this, uh... 
vending machine. Okay, let's buy a dog food. And I might hang on to that if, if for other vending machines that we come across. Just because, you know, we can't... I don't really want to go hunting right now because of the fact that we don't have room, you know, for all the stuff. So let's just hang on to that for now. And we'll, we'll eat it here fairly quick because we're going to actually start losing stamina cap just by all the running we're doing. But I just want to move quickly because... You know, it's taken us so long to get around to this point because we've had to, you know, to stay quiet and sneaky. And now I'm not quite as worried about that. You know, one single Larry is not going to be a problem at all. A couple will probably still use our little perch if we have like two. But if it's just one, I'm not worried about it. We'll kill him. We have a new pris another prison up here. An oil company... We sure don't have much for stamina, though, do we? <laughs> it's running out. But, you know, we're wearing heavy armor, so we have no points in in heavy armor to help with that. There's a Larry over that way. I, I keep thinking, oh, let's go in there and loot the safe. Oh, let's go loot these cars. Oh, let's go over here and loot. It's like, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, there's Larry. No looting allowed. Okay, if we're going to deal with this Larry, let's deal with him up here. He could still probably hit this, though, can't he? There's a Larry over there. We could attract sleepers from in here, so that's why I'm trying to be a little more cautious here. Oh, yeah, we got that Larry's attention, too. Look at all the Larrys. We don't have any explosives with us, do we? <laughs> All right. Where'd she come from? Oh, she probably fell down from up above there. the next level. We're going to start pumping fortitude now. Okay. All right, let's just go. Let's leave those guys behind. I'm not seeing anything from here that looks like a desert, but it's it's really flat, man. Really flat land here. Here's a deer. I would really like to shoot you, deer, but I have no room whatsoever for your ingredients. So we're going to let you live this time, buddy. What do you think about that? Got Larry there and Larry there. Okay, I don't want to attract that Larry, so let's kind of work our way this way. So if we engage this Larry, at least that one doesn't also come. Oh, wait. Is there two Larrys? Uh, no, that's the same. Oh, there's a mountain lion there. Look at that guy. I, I've mentioned this already, but the one thing I really do like about uh, the snow biome is there's lots of game around. You need some meat, man. You're not going to have any trouble getting it here. <clears throat> okay, we'll try and avoid that Larry. Oh, shit, there's another Larry. Of course there is. Bastards are all over the place. Okay, that one... What we're gonna do is we're gonna just thread the needle. Oh, There's a Larry there, too. We might... We better get this ready just in case. Like I said, we can handle one Larry no problem, but two or more, and they're all kind of closing in on me. 
All right. You know what? Screw it. You guys are are holding me up here. That's just not going to fly here. Let's get this. Let's get this. All right. Uh Missed him. Let's try and just do little short, easy shots here to conserve our ammo. Actually, <laughs> do you see all the snow that that kicked up? It's getting dark. Let's get this reloaded because we didn't have a chance to completely load it up. Uh, we got another Larry. Let's just get him out of the way too. Might as well. the junk turret soften them up for us. Is that still yet another Larry? Uh, no, I think that's just a, a nighttime zombie. All right, uh, I think that takes care of all the Larrys in the immediate vicinity. Let's make sure everybody's loaded here. We're actually kind of low on junk turret ammo. We might need to get some scrap iron and get make more of that. I, you know what I should have done? I should have done that in the last episode when we were looting the shotguns, but I didn't think about it, so. Uh, where are you? Yep. I guess the good news, though, is that it frees us up a space. <laughs> frees us up a slot. How did we still, how, how come we're still four slots heavy? That should have given us a slot back. Oh, did I not have a land claim block made? I don't remember. All right, let's just go. It's nice to have a helmet light, finally. It's 42 degrees ambient out, so we're, we're doing okay on the temperature for the moment. I do have things in my inventory that we can put on if we need to, if it gets super cold. Uh, we're going northwest. We want to go north. Okay, we got a road here. Okay, that's just a... Uh, well, it's a businessman, but he could be feral. I don't want to fight him if I don't have to. Oh, let's do our... Our point here real quick so we're right now we're pumping fortitude straight up when we get to three then we'll be able to take the next machine gunner and the next pain tolerance and the next uh uh the health one i can't remember what's called off the top of my head all right anything up ahead would look like a desert biome not so far this is one hell of a flat area, too. Wow. Really flat. That almost looks like there's water up ahead. Okay, well, there's Larry there. We got a nighttime Zeeker over there. There's Easy. Let's, let's put this on our toolbar, too. Okay, two Zeekers up ahead. Looks like there's another city way beyond that lake there, because I can see skyscrapers. 
There, there are three mega cities on this map. So we have lots of city to, to explore and loot and all that when the time comes. Let's go around this way and see if... Now yeah, we got... Zombies all over the place, man. What the hell? Okay, let's stay on this side. <laughs> all right, well, I'm not seeing any desert biome between us and that large body of water. My goodness, that's a huge lake. Because we're, we're really, really only about in the center of the map-ish. That is one big body of water. <sighs> Alright, we got a military base here with landmines, so we gotta... We don't want to get too close. Um... Okay, let's just kind of sneak around this way. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I always love it when that happens. When the game kills the zombies for us. Okay. Did that get somebody else's attention? Nope, it didn't. Okay. Whew. Man, I'm surprised because there's two Larrys not that far away from here. Well, let's work our way out to this... to the shore here and just kind of assess... the situation. Yeah, that is... that's a big lake. Wow. That's like an Alpha 16 size lake. You don't see bodies of water that large. Uh, Alpha 17 had really, really tiny bodies of water. There was like no, nothing you would even call a lake. Uh, they, they were more like ponds <laughs> in Alpha 17. And then in 18, you know, you can, you can see a little bit larger bodies of water. But even in 18, they're not... Nowhere near as big as this, you know, because this is a nitrogen map, keep in mind. That's huge. I wonder how deep it is. Yeah, we don't want to get wet, <laughs> actually, now that I think about it. It is 41 degrees outside, so. Oh, it's an Edgar. He's probably going to see us. Let's just kill him quietly so we don't attract uh, soldier seekers. Edgar, why didn't you step on a landmine for us? Come on, man. I thought we had... I thought we had a thing, you know, you and I. An agreement. Where you would do everything in your power to kill yourself whenever you saw me. Uh, you don't remember making that agreement, Edgar? Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's uh 22 minutes after midnight Whew. okay well i guess here let's look at the map here so we're yeah we are we are this is pretty much the center of the map, east and west wise. So we're very close to the center of the map, east and west. And, you know, this is the the little red thing is the the actual center. But that that's right out in the middle of that water. So I guess the question is, should we go around that way or go around this way? I do not see anything over that way that looks anything remotely like desert. Um... Yeah, 
And those mountains beyond the trees are all, you know, covered in snow. Uh... Oh. That's desert, right there. I see cactuses. That's it. Okay, cool, we found it. All right, so basically we are. We're going to work our way around the shore uh, to get to that desert biome there. Excellent. So we found it. Now we just need to get to it. Easier said than done. <laughs> All right, let's go. I did tell Terry to make that make it really small. So and that looks pretty damn small. That's fine though. It's the only reason we have a desert biome at all is so we have a place to get oil shale. I'm not going to live there. And here's we got that wall of water issue going on again. We saw that a long time ago when we first started on this map. I wonder why it does that. That's really weird. Hmm. Ah! Oh, that scared me. Whew. Oh, man. I've got shivers going down my spine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was... Uh, I did not see him until he was already leaping in the air on top of my head. <laughs> Woo! Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, let's do this. Let's... You're coming after us too, eh? You must be feral. Yep. <sighs> okay. 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 We're good. We're good. Um, uh, instead of taking an actual bandage, because we're not hurt that bad, actually, thanks to our armor. Um, and we didn't really take too many hits anyway. Let's just do a, a one of these. And then one of these. And then we'll drink a, a yucca, which is going to help with the cold anyway. And it should also cover the hydration loss from the pill. And then we're in good shape. Okay, let's move. Oh, man, that scared me. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, we got a Larry there. So we're gonna have to go. Uh -uh. Do we want to risk going across the water? I mean, it would be so much faster to do that if we went across the water. But we're gonna get wet. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit out. Boy, I don't know. Should we do it or not? What should we do? That's going to be a long walk around there, and we're going to have to fight, you know, to get over there and this and that and everything else. And it's 24 degrees, 20... Yeah, the temperature's dropping. Nah, that's too risky. I wish we could build boats in this game, have a raft or something, you know? That would be awesome. We do have the buff, though, from the, you know, the, the 30 cold protection... From the uh, yucca smoothie that we just drank. And we have it for 13 more minutes. Alright, I hope this isn't... I hope this isn't a mistake. I think we'll be... I think we'll be okay, actually. <laughs> As it's 11 degrees outside, <laughs> we're swimming in a lake. <laughs> Oh, man, what's the matter with my head? Uh, I think we'll be okay, though. I mean, we're, we don't even have a yellow snowflake. And, and it's because of that yucca juice smoothie. It's 10 degrees, and then we're, and we're swimming. We even have frost on our on our shotgun. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Okay, we got a Larry in the water right down there. I want to. I actually want to kill him, or at least soften him up, because he's gonna follow us to the shore. 
Oh, looks like we got two zombies down there. Okay, Larry's dead. And that zombie's dead. All right. Aqua shotgun. Everybody needs their own aqua shotgun. Okay, there's Larry right there. And there's a Zeker out that way, too. Don't want to get them both at the same time if we can help it. So let's just stay right on the shore. And if this Larry aggros us, we'll take him out. I don't think we'll get the attention of that one. Now, there is a Hawaii 5 0 uh, somewhere around here, too. I don't know how far into the water he is. You know what? Actually, let's go back into the water. I mean, it's not causing us any trouble at all. We have eight more minutes on our our buff from the the uh, what you call it, Yakuju smoothie. Yeah, he's detected us. Okay. If he's feral, he's going to be hard to kill. If he's not, then he'll be sort of kind of hard to kill, but not too bad. Okay, somebody else is coming. Thought I heard a footsteps. Well, maybe not. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, almost there. I got a little ways yet to go. Pretty soon we're going to need to repair this shoddy. Okay, let's cross right here. There's a crawler over there. Okay, we got a Baldy up there and a Larry right there. Okay, let's just... What should we do? If we go straight ahead, we're... Definitely going to get Larry's attention. I just don't know. Oh, there's another Larry. Shit. Um. Let's just set up our platform and take him out. Okay. So grab this and this actually why won't that go down there Oh, they hit me. Get some double shots here. If they jump up here, I'm just going to get the AK out and blast them. Okay, I think we're good.
Uh, we don't actually have any more ammo for this right now. Okay, let's move. Almost there, almost there, almost there. You know, the cool thing too is there's a there's a big city there. And it's really close to the desert and it's in the center of the map. I'm thinking we might actually go ahead and just move uh, to this city and set up our base here because it makes the most sense because we're a long ways away from the oil shell yeah here we go we found the desert look at us look at us and our bad selves okay we don't have to deal with Larry for a while that's a nice nice thought not having to deal with Larry for a while we're probably gonna get his attention And it's morning, too, on top of that. How about that? Okay, guys, we made it to the desert. Yes, we did. <laughs> it was a, that wasn't too bad of a journey, all things all things considered, you know? I mean, we had the firepower, we got the armor, we got the supplies to, to handle it this time. So, uh, I guess the first thing I want to do is I want to just see how big this biome actually is. It's not supposed to be very big. And then, uh, then I think what we'll do is we'll go, we'll probably go over uh, and check out that city. Um, the thing about a base, though, is I want to be close to a trader. So we need to find another trader before we decide where our permanent location, excuse me, location is. But I think where we're currently at, back down, you know, south there, is a little bit far away from the desert biome. Um, it wouldn't be so bad if we had a motorcycle, but we don't, and I don't know when we're going to get one. I'm not really planning on putting any points into intellect anytime soon. Um, I'm counting on us, you know, finding uh, the schematics that we need for the, for vehicles eventually, or, you know, what? yeah, finding the schematics, essentially. So, yeah. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here, and I'm going to spend some time off camera just mapping out the boundaries of the of the desert biome and, of course, locating some oil shell and all that. And then uh, when, I, when I bring you back in the next episode, um, you'll see how big it is. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'll show you how big it is, and then... We'll go from there. We like I said, we need to find. Yeah, see, now we're getting hot. We need to find a a trader. You know, again, like I said, we need to find a trader before we decide upon our our base situation. Let's. Well, okay. With the two changes I just made. I would actually like... Okay, let's keep that on. Um, what... Oh, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll put the tank top on. Let's pull the pocket off of here. Okay, so with the tank top on, we're, we're, we have yellow heat, but we don't have red heat. I'm just trying to see if I can keep my helmet light installed, but it looks like it's probably not going to let me do that. I would rather have the, the run 10% faster jacket on, though, than the helmet light, especially since it's daytime. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and modify this, and we'll put this on in place of the light. Okay, now, does that bring our heat down? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's a little dark, but that's okay. It'll It'll brighten up. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. And like I said, uh, I'll bring you back in the next episode after I have a chance to kind of map out uh, the desert biome here. And then, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.